Okay, so I'm going to show you how to use uh, this particular web address. We call it the portal or the Microsoft Cloud or um, Microsoft Online, um, Office 365. It seems like there's a lot of names for it. OneDrive. You might think of this also as OneDrive. Um, as a student at our college, we have a contract with Microsoft, and it gives you access to all this stuff for free. So your username, your account is already set up. It's already out there waiting for you. Um, you could Google Microsoft Online, and you will probably come up with this. But if you want, you can just type in portal.microsoftonline, notice that that's all one word, dot com, okay? And when you hit enter, it's going to take you to a page. You're going to type in your full username, like your email address. So like jsmith at southwest.tn.edu. You'll hit tab. It'll take a little min uh, minute as it redirects you to our particular portal within Microsoft, and then you'll type in your password, okay? Now, what all do you get for this? Well, you get free storage in the cloud, uh, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I left that, you know, document at home, that, that file I had, I left it at home. You don't have to worry about carrying around a whole bunch of flash drives. You'll always have it. You can just store it in the cloud. You have more than a terabyte, and I understand, you know, that number is growing. It's like a, a terabyte, more than you can think of, and that number is growing. You have access to Office 365. Now, these are those applications like Word Online, Excel Online. Think of these as kind of mini versions of the full thing. You also have free installations of the full thing, and that's whether or not you have a PC or a Mac. When I say full thing, Office 2016 is Word full Word, full Excel, PowerPoint, you know, all those things that we're going to use in this class. I believe you can install on as many as five devices. Uh, that's last time I heard, so double check that with the college if you need specific information. Just go to any one of the walk-up help desks and uh, you can ask them and they can explain that information to you, okay? So, I'm going to show you now how to complete uh, the steps of your assignment, and that is to put one of your documents into the cloud and to share it with me, all right? So you have hopefully uh, just finished, uh oh, I, I um, let's see, you need to pause this. Okay, so I had to... Um, uh, pause the video for a moment and open up this document. This is your assignment that you have hopefully just completed uh, working on and I've asked you to upload it into the cloud. So what you want to do is you want to use that uh, web address that I told you about and um, let's see if I can pull that back up. I'm toggling here between uh, okay so you're gonna open your web browser. Chrome tends to work best. Go to this website and log in. Okay, I'm going to switch over to that now. When you log in, this is the page that you're going to see. Now, let me just give you the quick rundown so that we, you know, stay consistent here. Um, if you ever want to check your college email, this is the handy dandy way to do it. You can just click that icon right there. If you do not have Microsoft Office, or maybe you don't have the most current version on your computer at home, install. Now, Folks, listen to me as I tell you this, very important, I've seen a lot of students make this mistake, <coughs> excuse me, do not install on one of the college computers. You're wasting your installations. You only have five. The college already has this software uh, on the computers, and if it doesn't have it on there, you're not supposed to be installing it on there, so don't do that, okay? Uh, this is for when you're at home. Now, you'll also notice as you look down here, Here's Word Online. This is the web-based kind of mini version of Word. There's Excel, uh, you know, so these are the mini versions. These you can access from any computer that has internet access. So feel free to click on these things and explore these. Highly recommend it. Install Now is for your house, okay, for your home, your personal computers. This stuff here, this is for anywhere, anytime access, all right? Now what we're going to do is we're going to click on OneDrive. So go ahead and click on that and I'm going to switch over and kind of get to my pre-setup screen, okay? Alright, so I've clicked the, um, the OneDrive 
icon and it takes me into my files. Now if you have files and folders already in OneDrive, you'll see them displayed here. I happen to be inside a folder that I've named Sample so that we can use this uh, just for our demonstration purposes. And it's pretty straightforward really. You see an upload button here. You've got a new button here. I can create a new folder. Very helpful for keeping things organized. If I want to start a brand new Word document, Excel, you know, I can, I can do those kinds of things, okay? Um, anyway, I'm just going to put my file right here into this folder that I've created. Now, the next thing I would say to you, just kind of remind you as a, as a caution is, make sure that you have closed this document, okay? So everything else on your computer is closed. Adobe Acrobat is closed you know, for making the PDF. Um, Word is closed, everything is closed. So folks, it's really this uh, simple. If you want, you can use the upload and navigate to your file, or you can just simply press and drag. It says, do I want to move it here? Yes, I do. I'm going to drop. And it just takes seconds. These are small files, Word files. And there it is. It says, okay, you know, here it is. Now, the reason I'm having you do this in the next part of your assignment is that I want you to share this file with me, okay? So what I want to do, and you can see right now, am I sharing it? No. It says I'm the only person who can see this. So I want to, and notice I can't see anything here, but once I move my mouse up, then I can make a little checkbox here. Okay, so I want to do that, and now that I have that checked, Look at all my options across the top here. And of course, the one that I'm interested in is sharing. And I have some choices in terms of the way that I share. I can have it send an email, and I just put the person's email address here. I can type them a little message. Then I have the choice, do I want that person to have to sign in? You know, do I want the email to be sent? All that type of stuff. Also, when I send it, I can say to that person uh, that they can view only or that they can edit. In other words, do I want this person to be able to modify the document or only to look at it? I could also just simply get a link, okay? Here's an edit link. They do not have to sign in, and they're going to be able to um, edit this document. I apologize. This is kind of going off the, the screen, but I think you'll uh, get the idea. It, it's going off the window that I'm recording within. Here's a view link, but they would have to um, sign in. They'd have to have an account. Here's an edit link where they also would have to have an account. And as you see down here, these two, they would not have to have uh, an account to view it. So this is actually the link that I'm going to have you share with me, the one that says view, no sign in required. Okay, so I did that. Um, oh, and I guess I could say share with. Let me do that one. And you can see I can stop sharing, email everyone, there's advanced options. I'm going to have you use this get link, and you're going to view the link, no sign in required, and then I'm going to click create. And there's my link. So I'm going to select it, and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy. Okay. Now, I see there's advanced options, and folks, I encourage you to look at all this stuff, a lot of good information, so that, you know, sometimes you share something with somebody and you forget about it and you never deactivate it or whatever. So if it's important to you to take that away, you have options here where you can say, I want that link to expire after so many uh, days. What if it was an event, like a party or something like that? You don't want the invitation, a sale. You don't want that invitation or that flyer still out there after the, you know, sale or the party has come and gone, right? I'm not worried about the expiration in this case. I have copied this, so and I've created the link, so I'm going to click on close, okay? And just so that you know that I have it, um, I'm going to pull this back up. This is just a Word document. Now, what I'm going to have you do is to go to pause, and there's a comment box in pause, and I'm going to have you paste this link in there so that I can access that link and I can look to see if you've, and you'll notice when I hit my space bar, it's going to recognize that as a hyperlink. But that way I'll be able to go and um, look at your document uh, that you've shared with me and I'll be able to see it online. Now you can email this link to people, um, you know, all kinds of things like that. Um, you know, that is a very long link. Hmm, I think I'm going to have you do one more thing because that link is so long. Um, I'm going to go back to my browser. I love being able to show you 
real practical business information technology. This is very helpful. I'm opening a new tab on my browser. There are websites. The one I'm going to have you use is uh, Bitly. There are others. Um, bit.ly. And the purpose of this website is to shorten those really long links. See what I did as soon as I pasted it. It said instead of that really long link, use this one. I'm going to copy it and go right back over here. And so instead of that long link that you see below, there's my new, there's my shorter link. Oops. Okay, does that make sense? So, um, okay, so what did we do? Let's, let's review these steps in kind of a fast uh, format. I went to this website, portal.microsoftonline.com, and I logged in. The next thing I did, I clicked the OneDrive icon. Um, make a folder if you like. You know, a lot of times I, I organize my uh, files into folders, right, so that they're easy. Um, the next thing we did, we uploaded, uh, and, and we did that simply by dragging the assignment file into the open browser area, right, um, of OneDrive, of OneDrive. Okay, so that's what we did. Then what did we do? We selected the file. That was very important. Remember I put my mouse over the file, I clicked right next to it to put that little checkbox. They gave me a whole bunch of options at the top. From the options across the top, um, I clicked on share, or sharing, or whatever it was called, sharing. Let's look at it again. It was here. We clicked on share. We said get a link, and I asked you to do view link, no sign in required. Okay, so just for the purpose of completeness, share, create a link, um, view only, no sign in required. Okay, so um, ultimately you're going to go back to your instructions uh, document now, return to your instruction document uh, and complete uh, and submit all files into the um, correct pause Dropbox. You will oh, you will um, paste the shortened Bitly link into the pause comment field of the Dropbox. Um, don't overthink this. This is pretty straightforward. You've just completed a lot of work. You're going to put those files into the appropriate Dropbox, um, and in the comment box, you're going to put the link so that I can view your file online. That simple. All right. Thank you very much. And this is very um, business savvy, good information to know, very real world information. You need this in the workforce, so I hope you find this assignment um, helpful. All right. Thanks so much.